Uh, this is Zeddy from Mobile Love. Uh, just doing a comparison between the Nexus One and the G Two. Uh, they're very similar phones. If you look at them, both have a metal construction, 3.7 inch screens, and um, same capacitive buttons. Home menu, back and search, just in a different order. The G2, however, does have a touchpad rather than a trackball. And let's go look at the, the uh, thickness. G2's on top, as you can see, is nearly twice as thick. But that's due to the physical keyboard. All right, let's take a quick look at the screens. Now, uh, the uh, G2 is made with a newer Super LCD technology, so it's brighter and it just does look a lot better. When I bought my Nexus One, it was the nicest screen I'd seen, but uh, it's definitely no longer the case. As far as call quality between the two, um, if you look at the speakers for your headset, basically the same. So qual sound quality is about the same. Uh, data speeds, the G2 does have 4G data, but I have not noticed huge differences with that yet because it's not fully implemented by uh, T-Mobile. And the camera difference is, there is a difference between the cameras between the two, even though they're both 5 megapixel and capable of 720p recording. Uh, response time with the G2 is just that much faster. Uh, if you're getting a new phone on T-Mobile right now, I would have to say the G2 is a better choice because you'd have to pay full price for the Nexus One through Google. And you get the advantage of a keyboard and new CPU and GPU with the G2. Either phone isn't a bad way to go though.